Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Half Shell Heroes Shredder and the Foot Soldier. That's right, the main baddie also comes in a two pack with one of his henchmen. So let's go ahead and check these two out. As you can see, they come on that same open box packaging there, featuring that bright, colorful artwork of the four turtles right there at the top of the box. And when you flip that over to the back side, just like with all of the others, we get a look at all of the minifigures currently available in this lineup, as well as a look at the different vehicles and the playset that are starting to hit store shelves. Alright, so just like all the other figures in this lineup, these two stand just under the 3 inch mark. And of course, this is a line that is aimed at a younger audience, ages 3 and up. So, they do have a bit of a cuter look to them. Although it translates really well, I think, with both Shredder and the Foot Soldier. Now let's go ahead and start with Shredder, because I've already taken a look at the Shred Tread vehicle, which came with an included Shredder action figure. The one that's in this two-pack is the exact same figure, so if we stand those two side by side, you can see that it's the same mold. However, I will point out that the one I got in this two-pack has a much better paint job. The one that I got in the Shred Tread had a really bad paint job, and it was probably just the one that I personally picked up. Uh, but it is nice that I now have one that's a little bit more solid with a lot cleaner paint. Shredder actually benefits from several different colors, which is really nice, because he's kind of got that shiny gunmetal color there going on, he's got the purple, he's got the kind of magenta, and you'll even notice the two-tone color on his face there, because he's kind of got that pinkish scarred half of his face that you can see under his mask, so all of that is really nice uh, that they added into the details for this Half Shell Heroes lineup. So let's jump over to take a look at the Foot Soldier, because he's the new guy here. A uh, very cool looking little figure. I think the style translated perfectly to the Half Shell Heroes line, because he looks very cool. And he's another one that features the perfect amount of colors. Because he's got all the black and the gray where it needs to be, but then he's also got the red bandana going around his forehead, as well as the red dots in the eyes. In his right hand, he's holding onto a katana sword. Uh, it's non-removable, just like all the other weapons in this line, because that would be a choking hazard, of course. And it's also rounded off, so that way kids won't poke themselves or stab themselves that might be playing along with it. So the articulation is very similar on these that we've seen with all the other figures. With the foot soldier, the head can look left and right. He's got the hinge joints at the shoulder, so the arms can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. And then both legs just move forwards and backwards in unison. Shredder is pretty much the same, with the exception of the fact that the head is attached to the cape, so that greatly hinders the movement with the head. You can only barely move that left and right, uh, but it does get blocked because the cape hits parts of his back. Alright guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at both Shredder and the Foot Soldier standing alongside the basic figure action figure counterparts. That way you can get a look at the difference between both the style and the scale of these two figures. So there you go my friends, there's a look at Shredder and the Foot Soldier from the Half Shell Heroes lineup. This is a really great little two pack. However, I will say that since Shredder also comes packaged with the Shred Tread, I kind of would have liked to see this be just two foot soldiers in a pack together. Those are kind of like army builders after all, and that'd be really cool that way you can actually buy these packs and multiples and have a whole army of little foot soldier minifigures. But I do understand the decision of putting Shredder with them, because not everybody may want to buy that vehicle, but a lot of people will probably want to have a Shredder. So if you want to army build this, you'll just end up with a whole bunch of Shredders to go along with all the foot soldiers. But they're very nice looking figures, both characters translate really well to this Half Shell Hero style, and we can really kind of create these two different factions of the bad guys and the good guys now. Although the good guys are really outnumbering the bad at the moment, so hopefully this minifigure line will continue and we'll get even more characters to add to the lineup, because I am really loving these. These Half Shell Heroes 2 packs are starting to hit store shelves right now, so happy hunting my friends, and until next time.